www.jmclive.com for our worship music, diversity puppets for the whole family, interviews, eternal flame news, and more, all on our 24-7 streaming online channel. So let's get into what's going to happen this week. A lot of things have happened, so let's just cover a few highlights that we'll be covering on the show. As always, we'll have breaking news, possible interviews, and tons of more. You can call in and join us in the chat. Here we go. First thing up on topic for jmclive.com tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern is atheists are still complaining. As everyone knows, May, June, July is normally regular graduation times. Well, there's another school in Louisiana that's complaining about prayer in school, and this school is standing up against it. I think this is a pretty great story. I love this idea of standing up for truth, and the truth sets you free. Speaking of standing up for truth, there is another group of college students that want to put a cap, want to mask what is considered truth. They want to hide the truth, as they say. And they're wanting to ban free speech, specifically for conservatives, from radio, TV, etc., and saying that it's hate speech. That we can't say you can be any different. That God can't change your mind. That this is pretty scary. In today's society, for someone to believe this kind of magnitude... It is not good at all. Speaking about magnitudes, the big controversial story that is catching everyone's ear is about Christians being persecuted in the East, Far East, you know, Africa, uh, and the Middle East, you know, Iraq, Iran, and China. But here in the West, we're not really doing a lot about it. Uh, some people donate, few people are considered missionaries. But beyond this and that level, nothing is really being done to stop this. There is a law of uh, a group of people trying to have religious freedom, but beyond that, it doesn't seem to be a big deal. We're going to talk about that on jmclive.com. Also, going to the Algerian churches. This happened around May 25th around Istanbul. These churches in, in the Algerian land are being faced with being shut down for a for 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 worshiping as you would say here in the United States we have the freedom of religion freedom to worship you know and assembly and all that what if i told you in algeria it's illegal unless you have a permit to worship god as an assembly illegal and of course our three big main topics for jmclive.com, that's www.jmclive.com, 24-7, streaming online, check us out. Here's the three main topics for tomorrow. The update on Harold Camping, he has predicted a new end date. We'll discuss this end date and recap what we talked about last week about false prophets and those who claim they know when the end of days are here. Also, Joplin, Missouri, the twister. The story that most people aren't talking about are those that are talking about counting their blessings instead of mourning their losses and how they are actually seeing an, a greater mass of people coming to Christ and not only just coming to Christ but wanting to work together to make a difference in today's society. And then we'll talk about how a judge rules that a pastor can say Jesus Christ in a Memorial Day prayer. All this and more at JMC Live. That's tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern at our website, www.jmclive.com. Be blessed, and we will see you soon.